Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again and another episode of Statistical Function and Formulas in Excel. And in this video, moving forward to our previous video, which was max ifs function, and now we are going to cover min ifs function in Excel. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because we are going to cover each and every functionality of Excel in this channel. So let's get started. So here we have the same example which we have used in the max ifs function video if you haven't watched that please do it because we have covered so much in that video so it's all related to it but if you have learned if you have come from that video you must have known how min ifs work it works in a similar way but if you have landed straight to this video for the first time then you're gonna learn so much in this video so stay tuned so here we have a demo sheet which you can also download following the link in the description box which is the first link if you click on that link it will redirect to our website where you can download that worksheet below the player so here we have a demo sheet where we have a student name which is classified by their orientation male or female and we have a marks and we have a different classes which is 10 or 11 so this is just for the demonstration purposes to let you understand how this type of function works okay so here we have a header lowest mark scored by so we need to fill all these values using our min ifs formula lowest mark scored by female so to find the lowest mark we need to find a minimum value and for the minimum value we have a min ifs function right so in for the first without further ado let's start with the lowest mark scored by female so let's just enter our min ifs so here we have three arguments to fulfill so for the first is min range okay and for the range min range part we need to select the where the values are so values are the marks here so we need to select the marks range and in the next part we have a criteria range one and for the criteria we have a criteria of female only we need to select where these female is so female orientation are here which is denoted by m for male f for female we just need to select this range first right and in the next part is criteria so for the criteria we need to mention f which is denoted as female so we will enter the f in between quote unquote close the parenthesis there you go you get the lowest mark scored by female is 70 so let's see if it's true it's 79 79 90 yes 70 so 76 81 yes it's true so minimum marks or lowest marks scored by female is 70 and the same way you can do male part if you want to do it by yourself please pause the video right now and do it for yourself because you must have learned how we can modify this particular formula in our next cell right pause the video and do it this by yourself okay so let's solve this I have just copied that formula because I don't need to enter again and again because it's a similar scenario. We just have to change the male abbreviation which is M. So we need to change from F to M. Close the parenthesis. So there you go. You get the 62 is the lowest mark scored by male in any class. So let's see if it's true. We have a 81, 81, right? 69. We have 75, 62, yes. We have a 62 which is the lowest mark scored by a male. So now we are moving forward to next here we have the lowest mark scored by female in class 10 okay so we have a two scenarios here right or i can say two criteria first is on the basis of orientation or you can say sex which is female and next is on the basis of class which is 10 right so we need to fulfill the two criteria here so let's just put the formula here min ifs and for the main range part we just need to select the range where the values are right as usual and the criteria range one for the first criteria we have a female criteria to fulfill the same way we have done previously we will do the same so criteria range so range for those sex or orientation however you want to say is this and for criteria we just need to put f in a quote unquote press comma and there you need to enter the criteria range two, which will start the criteria second so second criteria is our class so for the class range is this and to put a criteria here we need to mention that class in between quote and quote there you go close the parenthesis let's see if we get our answer or not so we get the answer which is 76 so here we have a 76 which is female scored by in 
10. So hope you understand how you can use this min ifs function for the two criteria. We can also use the same to fulfill the in next formula, right? Just copy and paste it and in the next cell, what we need to find is we will need to find the lowest mark scored by female in class 11. So we have already done the first criteria part. In the next criteria part, we just need to select or we need to change this 10 part to 11. We just need to add one here. And there you go. You get your answer, which is 70. Where is the 70? There you go. So lowest mark scored by a female in class plus one or 11 is 70. And the same way we can do these two, but I leave it to you, whoever you watching, just practice it whatever you, you have learned until now you will get to solve it by your own so get the worksheet from our website and download it and practice it okay pause the video and do it so let's just complete this worksheet so both are the same here as you can see the similarity is pretty much same so i'm just going to copy this particular formula and this the difference only difference is we need to change f to m because the well, we need to find lowest mark scored by male in 10 so 10 is the same so just click enter so yes we get the 62 answer where's the 62 there you go you get the lowest marks scored by m in class 10 which is the 62 okay and the same way we have copied this formula i'm going to copy this because the only difference is male and female here. so we just paste it in this cell change f to m so there you go so you get the mark scored by male in plus one is 69 so hope you understand how you can use min ifs in excel so it, i think this particular scenario or problem must have resolved your understanding of this function so if you have learned something please click the like button if you have some questions in mind in related to this formula then you can ask away in the comment box if you want to share this video to your colleague friends or your social media handles you can share it so see you in the next video until then bye bye